Safari in iPadOS 13 and iOS 13 gets a lot more powerful. So let's check out the new download manager. So if we open up the Apple developer downloads, we can actually test downloading a copy of its own operating system. We just tap, click download, and you'll see up there the downloads tab appears. And it looks very similar to the downloads tab on macOS Safari. However, it is a little watered down. It currently doesn't have all the features of its Mac counterpart. You can stop it by clicking the X. You can click the magnifying glass to view where it comes up, or you can clear it. You can scroll if there are multiple downloads, which there aren't here. Next, let's check out what the multi-window support looks like. So in order to do that, what we will do is we will simply click on a link, hold down, and then the context menu appears. And we can open a new tab, a new window, nor any of the other options we have. We click new window, and you'll see that a new window appears here. And this is not just a new tab, but a whole new Safari window. Now you can see the downloads are still progressing on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you have a still fully functional version of Safari that can scroll without interacting with the view on the left-hand side. When you're done and ready to get rid of it, all you have to do is grab the bar that's in the middle of the screen and move it farther to the left or farther to the right until one of the windows is pushed off the screen, at which point it is effectively closed. Now let's check out the context menu in more detail. You have the option to open a new tab, a new window, download that linked file, add it to the reading list, or share. Now in iOS and iPadOS 13, the share sheet got quite the revision. And if we look at this, you can see the icons have changed, as well as the layout. The layout is now much easier to use. There used to be two rows of icons, some in black and white, and some in full color, and that was confusing to users because what was the difference between them? Now it's very clear. One row is sharing in apps, and the other row is actual actions that can be taken based on what is contextually available. 